Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science in point slope form. You can write linear equation one of three ways. You can write it in standard form, y intercept form, and point slope form. And the equation is y minus y1 equals m, which is the slope, times x minus x1. So that would be point slope form. Now, how do you find the slope of each line and the coordinates of a point that the line passes through. So let's look at this first example. You have y minus 1 equals negative 2 times x minus 2. Well, the slope is the negative 2. Now, what about the x? Well, you have a negative 2. And here's one thing. you always The number will be opposite because you have to get rid of the negative sign. So the x will be 2, and then the y will be 1. Let's look at another example. You have y plus 11 equals 5 times x minus 2. Well, the slope is 5. And then for the x value, the x point, you have a negative. So you're going to do the opposite, and it will be a positive 2. Now, on the other side, you have a positive 11. You're going to take the opposite value, and that will be negative 11. Okay? Now, how about a question like this? A line passes through the points negative 2 and negative 14 and 6 and 10. Find the equation of the line and write it in point-slope form. So, let's first find the slope by using the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to plug in values. I have 10 minus a negative 14 over 6 minus a negative 2, which becomes 24 over 8 will equals 3. So now I'm going to plug it into the formula. I have y minus y1 equals 3, because that's the slope, times x minus x1. Now let's get the values of x and y. Well, let's go ahead and pick negative 2, negative 14. So it's going to become y minus a negative 14 equals 3 times x minus a negative 2, which becomes x, excuse me, y plus 14 equals 3 times x plus 2. So there we go. A couple examples of point slope form. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness.